Hello there viewers, Axel here. Welcome to another Axel Tech video. I haven't done that intro in like forever, have I? Wow, I'm out of it now. Because usually I've just been like, today we're taking a look at this thing, but then today I'm just like, hello, doing that old intro again. I call it old, it was only like a few weeks ago, but I digress. Anyway, um, today we're going to be talking about, this is a bit of a different sort of app overview type of video as it's not an app that's in app center it's i it's arguably even an app so much as it is a plugin um we're talking about elementary tweaks so right off the bat i do want to mention elementary tweaks is not uh supported or probably well definitely not even recommended by the elementary team it is kind of as the name implies a uh it's a plugin for Switchboard, the system settings, to allow you to tweak things about your elementary desktop that you otherwise would not be able to. So, you know, keep in mind, if you do install it, changes that you make were things that you decided to change. Some things you can change are, well, many of the things you can change are things that can cause stuff to potentially not look right. So just remember that if you change those things. This, like I said, this is going to be a little bit of a different app overview video, not just because it's an unofficial app. Is that the right way to put it? Yeah. Not just because it isn't an app center app, but also kind of because I don't actually recommend it. So I'm a big fan of the default elementary experience. I do have tweaks installed, mostly for the rare occasion that I get really bored and want to like just try looking at other like themes on Pantheon, but I always go back to the defaults anyway. So um, the most prominent thing that people are probably going to change if they do install tweaks will be here under the appearance tab. You can change the, the GTK theme. So of course it's on elementary by default. I don't have a whole lot installed because like I said, I usually stick with the defaults anyway, but um, for the most part, anything that you change this to is not really going to look right. Like, let, let, let's take New Advaita, for example. That's just the gnome theme. Like, that doesn't look right. And it's understandable that it doesn't look right because, you know, that's the default gnome styling. This isn't gnome. It's still built in GTK, but it's not gnome. Um, some th GTK themes actually don't look horrible with elementary, I will admit. Like, uh, Mojave Light, for example. Like, everything's legible, at least. Some... Some spacing is a little off in some places. It's not super apparent here, but like in the file manager, for example. That was a bad example. Okay, now like right here, the path bar, like that's a little off. So some themes actually don't look horrible. But again, when you change that around, it's not what the apps are being developed against. So, you know, it, there there were probably will be some visual issues if you change it to anything. But, you know, if you really want to go with a different look and feel, you can change things there. Again, I don't recommend it, but it's your computer. You can do what you want with it. Uh, similar with icons. This, this is the one thing that I do occasionally change. But again, I do usually just go back to the defaults anyway. I do have a few icon themes installed. Like uh, this is the icon theme that goes with that Mojave theme. So basically just Mac icons. So you can also change the icons and your cursor if you want to. Um, now, okay, another thing that some people, at the moment at least, might really like about tweaks is that you can choose to prefer dark variant. Now, again, not every elementary app is made to uh, use a darker variant. So that can still cause some issues. But there was a... Um, well, it was recent the last time I tried to record this video, but uh, somewhat recent blog post made by Cassidy James of Elementary about how he thinks there should be a free desktop standard for a dark style. And that is something that they are working on with Elementary now is actually having a um, system wide preference for a dark theme. So right now you can sort of do that with tweaks, but sometime in the future hopefully the near future you'll you'll that yeah, will probably have that as an official option so it's not moot yet but it will be in the future now another thing i know a lot of people are probably going to love about elementary tweaks is 
the uh, window controls layout thing here. For those of you who really love your minimize buttons, you can add a minimize button. I still don't see the need for having the minimize button. There are other ways to minimize if you really need to, and there are other ways to manage your windows. But if it's something that you're super used to from other desktops, you can add back the minimize button if you really want to. I don't use it. I'm not going to have that added, but I know that there's a lot of like, that's like the most common thing that I hear about it. It's always like, but there's no minimize button. N never any explanation other than that, but it's always just there's no minimize button. So there you go. You can have your minimize button if you really want to have your minimize button. Other than that, you can also tweak the fonts, uh, tweak some animation stuff. This this enable animations toggle, that's actually in the normal settings now under, uh, I believe, desktop appearance. You can toggle the animations and panel translucency in the main settings here. So you don't need tweaks for that unless you really want to tweak the timings for some reason. And then finally, another thing that's somewhat commonly complained about is the whole single click to open folders thing. For now, you can also change that here, but I've heard that they're actually getting rid of that G setting, so you might not be able to do that forever. But for now, you can do that. And then other than that, there's just some other, like a few other application-specific things. But um, So like I said at the start of this, I personally don't recommend elementary tweaks. I think that if you're going to use elementary OS, you should at least give the default experience a try for at least a week, maybe two. But after that, if you otherwise love elementary, you really like the workflow that you get with it, but there's just some things that you really want to change, like you really want that minimize button, elementary tweaks might be the solution for you. So that being said, uh, since it's not an app center, the install process is a little more complex. I'm not going to go into it in detail here because I'm going to assume that if you're watching this, and you're wanting to install something like elementary tweaks, you are already experienced with tweaking your system anyway. So um, I will be linking the GitHub page down below, but for a quick overview on the GitHub page, you add the elementary tweaks PPA, and then you just install elementary tweaks. If you've never added PPA on Juno before, you, can, you also need to sudo apt install software properties common to enable the ability to add PPAs. And that's going to be it for this one. Let me know how much you guys disagree with my opinions and elementary tweaks in the comments below. Till next time, this has been Axel. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one, which hopefully does not take like two weeks again. See you guys then.